Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back, guys, to our Build It Better series, and we finally have an update. We are on 1.5.1, and I've got quite a bit done since the last time that we were here. Uh, some good updates around the channel, all that good shit. Uh, but the biggest thing is the Build It Better is finally up to 1.5.1 and so is the texture pack. As you can see, I am running the Better Skies. And there is one texture pack this time, guys. And it works with Optifine and MC Patcher. As you can see, I am running uh, Optifine. My render distance is at 96 right now. Uh, just to keep things running smooth, I max that bitch out when I do some uh, cinematic shit for you guys but anyways uh that's why i like optifine but this does work in mc patcher and optifine i have tested it big kudos thanks shout out to thaddeus kane and eternity forever for helping me get this thing to where it's at right now uh, i used the unstitcher by dinner bone to uh to get the texture pack up to 1.5 and there was a couple glitches in the pack uh, that I needed some help with so I incorporated Thaddeus's uh, main texture pack to uh, to get the base to get the base going and uh, so a lot of your GUIs you'll you'll uh, recognize his stuff and then uh, the of course affinity that's his sky and his lava my lava's fucked up right now guys so uh, eternity is working on the lava because um, I do like mine better I mean his is awesome and fucking kicks ass uh, but mine kind of fits the uh, the cartoon pack just a little bit better. So he's working on that, and hopefully within you know a couple weeks he can get that straightened out for me and figure out what is wrong with the text file and why it's not quite reading it the way it should. But blah, 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 who gives a fucking shit? The B.I.B. world, what have we got done since the last time? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure we moved the train station over, and I've got the tracks... I don't believe this was done yet. I've got them all going underground right now, and it's just kind of temporary, and I'm going to fly down here real quick. I know, I always say that. I'm going to fly down here real quick. <laughs> I should coin that phrase. Uh, but anyways, it, it all goes underground right now, and it heads out that way. And uh, I, I built one whole side, and God damn it, I used MC Edit and threw it in on the other side. Fuck it. It's, it's not completed. As you can see, there's still a little hole, a couple holes here and there. Not sure I'm really crazy with this fucking design yet, guys. It, it will probably change, but for temporary purposes, that's where it fucking goes. So the main track that goes north, you're fucked. If you don't have creative, <laughs> you're fucking walking straight that way to the new city is right behind them trees, and then north of that is the older city, and then way north of that into the desert is the floating coliseum. But this is a creative map, so you should be fine, but I just wanted to let you know where the fuck everything is. The main shipyard, this is where we're at right now. And the Enterprise, I worked a lot on that. I've got a lot done. If you guys want to walk around that and check out some of the new shit, uh, you'll be seeing more of it in the Play With Thunder series probably later this month. Uh, I finally made it up in here to the chain lockers, but a lot of the stuff down the uh, uh, port, port side, <laughs> I had to think about it for a minute, everything down the port side is is pretty much done. I've got a lot of birthing areas in now and uh, and some, some heads, bathrooms, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Uh, so check out the Enterprise. Got a lot going on there, but or just wait for the Play With Thunder episode probably in a week or two. Uh, the, the Destroyer I haven't touched. The Little E I still haven't touched. And the other battleship I still have not got back to. And then also the submarine on the other side is still the way it was. So I haven't got back to these other ships yet, but eventually we will. Uh, in my new world, you'll see probably in the Play With Thunder series after the main promo video of the new ship that's coming out, this stuff's moved around just a little bit. Uh, I took the submarine out and I'm making a submarine docking bay down in this area. I've extended this walkway going that way. Uh, I've cut all this back and I've leveled that out and blended it all in, yes, by hand uh, because MC Edit just doesn't do a real good job and neither does World Edit, so uh, I... I <laughs> I kind of like going in and doing that shit by hand. I think it looks a lot fucking cleaner. And yes, <laughs> I've got fucking semi-trucks, guys. Holy fucking shit. Um, they kind of look like toy wooden trucks. Yes, I understand this. But this is the best thing that I could come up with to fit scale into my world. I had to use wood. That's the only thing I can get with the stairs that'll flip upside down, the half slabs that'll fit in there, and um, 
Yeah, that's what I come up with. I tried my, my wool blocks and uh, some other materials, and I had some really big fucking tractor trailers that just didn't fit with the warehouse. So this is what I come up with for now, and we are in 1.5.1, like we said, and we've got the quartz blocks, and the quartz blocks are pretty close to my wool blocks. So I may switch this design out because the quartz blocks have the half slabs and the stairs, and they wrap around and they go upside down and all kinds of shit. And that would probably look better to have a white tractor trailer front than a, uh, a wooden one. So that's what I've got here. And we're going to go inside the warehouse. I'm going to show you the warehouse because uh, the whole interior is done. People asked about the roof. And the roof is finished. And this is what I come up with. All I did was pretty much duplicate this layer. I just had to extend it. And I'll go inside and I'll show you why. And then I put a glass roof on. Uh, basically because the you know, lighting is a bitch. It's a big area. It's hard to light up. And I really didn't want to cluster fuck it with too many torches. And I'm trying to use uh, my uh, glowstone and trap doors for the lighting. So anyways, we go inside and we have off the left-hand side our receiving building, shipping building, whatever. And I just built that into the corner. And in the far corner I have a ladder. So, you know, the crane comes over here you can get on it. But obviously it don't fucking move. Work with me, guys. <laughs> Anyways, inside, this is the shipping office. Nothing real fancy, just some bookcases and some fucking stairs. And over here, we got a shitter. It's kind of fucked up, but this is where I had to put it just to get everything to work out the way that it should. Got a crapper, a sink, and some Playboy magazines while you're sitting there shitting. Whatever. Or Playgirl. We got women here now. And uh, anyways, that's the shipping office. And we're going to walk over here. And we have some loading docks and receiving docks or whatever you want to call them on both sides here and over there and we'll get down in there here in just a minute i just want you guys to kind of take a look and get some ideas that's the idea of the build it better series is to get some ideas for your worlds so these are the shipping crates here and i just wrap them obviously in the trap doors i think it gives it a really nice meshed look uh, like it's packed up and ready to fucking go and then we've got some big shipping pallets here with uh, some materials on them and then some little small ones. Always got to have some little small ones. They can't all be fucking big. <laughs> They're just not born like that. Uh, got, some more <laughs> got some more sitting over here. And, and of course, you're going to have to have empty pallets. So I've got some empty pallets sitting over here. And this right here is a rail system. Yes, these are rail cars. And this is my interpretation of a rail system coming into the warehouse and going out that way. Is Jag going to build a train? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I haven't really decided yet, uh, but I figured a warehouse needs to have rail systems. So, And I really didn't want to use the minecarts because it was kind of under scale. The minecart system now goes underground like we saw earlier just to kind of keep it out of the loop and mess with the scaling. That's why I've done that. But anyways, uh, the main crane systems, there's one on each side. They travel along these iron beams or the iron support system. And, uh, and this is the cab that you can get into. It's a little tight. <laughs> That's what she said or he said, whatever. And I got all kinds of fucking levers because there's all kinds of shit that fucking moves. Uh, so there's the crane idea. And this was actually probably about the 15th fucking design, trying to come up with something that would work with my warehouse, something that was somewhat believable. Uh, an adjustable crane system with different rails and tracks to open and close the different uh, the hooks down here to pick up the different sized pallets because they're not all the same size. Uh, I've got some glowstone in the floor down here for right now uh, just for center lighting. I was going to put some main posts over here but then I figured that they kind of cluster fucked and got in the way. So for right now I've just got some floor lighting so that's how that works. On this side, there's the other crane down there we saw. I put another forklift in here because it's got to move all the shit either off the train or off the trucks. So the back of the shipping uh, center here, you can walk into the back of the trucks. And again, I was going to go three wide on the tractor trailers. I was going to make them five by five, I think. But they just looked too goddamn big. Uh, so this is what I've got for right now. In the Minecraft world, we have a one by fucking three tractor trailer opening. So you can walk inside, and I've got a little torch in there so it's lit up on the back side. I wanted it hidden, otherwise it looked like shit. And I put lighting on the outside, and of course, mix and match your materials for, you know, your different pallets. Um, just because, you know, not everything comes in exactly the same. Scatter your pallets out around a little bit, and, uh, and that's what you can have. 
maybe a little overkill. <laughs> maybe a little overkill. But some of it's going out, some of it's coming in, whatever the hell. Uh, I think this truck here still has, yeah, a couple pallets in it. So that's that's what that is. <laughs> Anyways, that is the warehouse, guys. I'm pretty proud of this. A lot of work went into designing the inside of this, trying to uh, get everything to fit exactly the way that I wanted to and still have the, I guess, realism of functionality so that, you know, the, uh, the forklift can come in here, load up the main docking area here or staging area so that this crane can move back and forth and load both sides for the carriers and, I guess, part of the destroyer. This will probably eventually, later on down the road, get another crane uh, down in here just to make the, tr the trip uh, a, little, a little less take as long. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I was tr trying to say there, but anyways, this side uh, needs, another, uh, needs a crane too uh, to pick up the material on this side and then I'll work on the docks down this way with the new ship and uh, and get all that tidied in. So those are the major updates in the BIB world 1.5.1. Uh, like I said, the things that you will be seeing in the next two weeks is not in this download. Everything that you see right now will be in the world download. So this is where we're at. Uh, I've cleared all that out back there, again, to expand the naval station going this way. Uh, barracks, military housing, uh, the rail system that'll go out, and I'll probably run it into a fucking tunnel just so I can hide it. <laughs> and then uh, this will turn into some sort of a road. So it'll either go underneath or that'll go over top. I haven't really decided yet. I don't know. I'm, I may have a clusterfuck here is what I might have, but uh, we'll work with it. Jag always works with it. So uh, anyways, that's what you have, guys. That's a real quick, fast update. Of probably, I don't know, 15 minutes of blabbering for our 1.5.1 Build It Better series. And like always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And remember, if it looks like shit, tear it down, blow it up, or just build it better. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.